Joint civil and military tests of the AN-70 military cargo aircraft are continuing. Within the framework of the test program, various systems, complexes and aerial delivery equipment of the airplane are being evaluated to ensure their suitability for military use. The tests at this stage were carried out at the Antonov Flight Test Base together with the Ministers of Defense of the Russian Federation and Ukraine. Flights were performed by joint crews. During ground tests, such parameters as loading and positioning of various samples of airdrop equipment and cargoes with the help of the aircraft integral roller equipment were checked. Numerous cargoes and machinery were loaded into the cargo compartment of the aircraft, including a gas 66 truck mounted on cargo platforms. Loading was carried out with the help of four onboard electric monorail hoists, each with a loading capacity of three tons. Along with preparations for the airdrop of machinery and cargoes, paratrooping options were considered. Jumps with paratroops exiting through both side and cargo doors have already been performed. Workstation evaluation and operating conditions, both of the paratroop commander and that of the person responsible for the jumps, have been estimated. Paratroopers were equipped with a complete set of nominal weapons and equipment. Dropping of machinery mounted on platforms was carried out. The results were nominal and in accordance with the predicted performance. Safety of airdrop machinery was achieved. In order to ensure that vehicle crews can be dropped safely in close proximity to their equipment, groups of test parachutists performed group jumps immediately after their machinery and vehicles left the aircraft. The exercise ensured touchdown of the parachutists in the immediate proximity to the previously landed machinery. An important part of the tests was the on-ground evaluation of drive-in, drive-out possibilities, as well as the positioning of cargoes and restraint and release of various pieces of self-propelled military machinery in the cargo compartment of the airplane. The most typical samples of wheeled, full track and other vehicles were loaded, such as truck ZIL-131, MAZ-5335, Ural 375, armored personnel carrier and other machinery. Vehicles were loaded into the cargo compartment of the airplane, both forwards and in reverse. Examples of full track vehicles used in the tests included an infantry combat vehicle and a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun weighing more than 20 tons. When full track vehicles were driving in, the rump and the floor of the cargo compartment are covered with protective flooring to preclude possible damage to the floor by the caterpillar track. The slope of the driving path and that of the ramp of the airplane are such that they ensure that self-propelled wheeled and full track vehicles can be loaded into the cargo compartment under their own power. This exercise can be performed by drivers with average skills. As well as loading vehicles under their own power, an evaluation of the entire complex of onboard equipment has been carried out by loading and unloading of the infantry combat vehicles using the integral motor-driven electric hoists. In the course of the tests, various cargo dropping modes have been tested. The serial mode of cargo dropping was tested by using two infantry combat vehicles. Filming of test performance was carried out both from a chase aircraft flying a parallel course and from cameras installed under the fuselage. The full loading of the airplane was evaluated by dropping four platforms with cargoes with a total weight of more than 30 tons. In doing so, the first two cargoes were dropped singly and the third and the fourth in a linked sequence. The accuracy of touchdown of cargoes in relation to the target drop zone meets the requirement. The most significant event of this sequence of tests of the N-70 was to verify the dropping of an infantry combat vehicle weighing about 15 tons with the vehicle crew and personnel right after the vehicle. Loading of the combat vehicle prepared for airdrop into the cargo compartment of the airplane and positioning it on the roller equipment was effected by using the four onboard electric monorail hoists. The test went in accordance with expectations and results were nominal. Touchdown was achieved at the required point. 
After touchdown, the combat vehicle was driven back to the test base under its own power. The results of this stage of the test program show that the N-70, its systems, complexes and paratrooper and transport equipment all achieved the transportation and airdropping of equipment, vehicles and required personnel in accordance with the requirement.